Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-September monthly tarot reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Libra, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, now you can become a member. So if you're interested in that, I do have the link listed down below. I am looking at the rest of September 2022. All of the decks that I am using for this reading, they are listed below along with the links for purchasing them. I did recently just come out with a couple of new decks. Uh, that link for those is listed down below as well if you're interested. All right, so we have the Three of Cups here. Let's see what you have coming up looking at the rest of September for Libra. Four of Cups. Interesting. Let's see. At your foundation, I do have the Queen of Pentacles. In the recent past, we have the Ten of Wands. I do apologize for background noise. We have crowning you the two of swords energy coming up in the near future. We do have the fool. We have the page of wands. It did land in the reverse. Let's see how others are viewing you. We have the hermit. Hmm. Next, I'm looking at the hopes and fears for Libra. We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so now we just need an outcome. What is the outcome for Libra? Seven of Cups. All right, let's see. We have the four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This could be an energy that you're dealing with for the rest of September. Could be like an overall, let's see. Some of you could be actually trying to spend less Maybe focused on your savings. Hmm. We have the Six of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, there's the Five of Cups. So this could be you holding back, not moving forward. For some of you, maybe you're not traveling. So maybe, uh, you know, maybe you normally would go see family at this time of year or something like that. But some of you that I'm reading for, you may be holding back. It could be due to uh, you trying to maybe save some money. This is an interesting four of pentacles um, because here you see, you see this man who's blindfolded and there's a bunch of flowers here. There's pentacles here on, on the flowers. And so I feel like some of you, you do have an offer. You have something in front of you. You may not be seeing it. So on the love front, it could be a friend. There's someone around you socially that maybe you're not seeing. Some of you are definitely a little closed off emotionally. It could be due to a loss of um, 
a long-term relationship, five of cups, 10 of pentacles, maybe some of you are divorced or um, maybe you are with somebody for a long time and that didn't work out. So some of you are definitely closed off here, but three of cups first cut out. This is a nice social energy. I do see some of you going out. Um, this could be like from the, let me see, around the 21st of September, could even be a little bit after that. But I feel like you do have someone around you in your environment and you may you may not be seeing them you may not see that they're interested in you this could end up being a missed opportunity with the three of cups and the four of cups now flip that if you feel like you know it's not you it's the other person you know they may not be seeing you you do have the queen of pentacles at your foundation. So it could be that you're very focused on your work, your finances. Maybe you're trying to work more. Maybe you're trying to save your money. Also, I am reading for some Librans where, you know, that's your main focus is maybe your job, growing within your career and this could be you passing on an opportunity to maybe go out with your friends someone may actually want to hang out with you mid-september and some of you you're maybe holding back you may actually pass on on maybe hanging out with someone and it could be because you just feel like you you just don't have the time. You just have too much on your plate. You have the 10 of wands here. It is in the recent past, which is good, but I mean, some of you, I, I feel like you just have too much on your plate. So, you know, maybe you need to look at that. Maybe go out and have more fun, um, socialize. But I'm reading for some Librans where you may not want to. I see you very focused on finances, career, and if you don't work, this could be family life, your home, projects around the home. Holding back from certain people, certain situations you're ignoring. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. This is you definitely ignoring someone or something. Now, if you look at this Two of Swords and this deck, she does not look happy. She actually looks quite miserable. Quite miserable. Um... So this could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with. This may be a sibling with the three of cups, a friend, a best friend. If it's not you, maybe you're the one Libra that is trying to get somebody to go out. You're the one that could be, yeah, I mean, trying to hang out with someone some of you are very generous. You're trying to maybe help somebody, but they may be ignoring you. Now, those of you that um, that has not happened yet, it could be happening here in the near future. We have the fool. So this could be you maybe living in the moment, being spontaneous, um, trying to hang out with someone or trying to get someone to maybe go out with you or, or whatever it is with the full energy for many of you this is you breaking free this is you um, living in the moment being spontaneous but 
for for some of you, not all of you, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that maybe this person is too focused on the past. Something could have happened. Maybe they got hurt. Maybe they dealt with a breakup. Someone could be too focused on past matters. But for others, this is a new path. This is a new path. And I think that you need more information. This closed off energy, Libra, is you holding back until maybe you have more information, until um, you feel like it's the right time. So maybe you're networking, you could be making new connections, you definitely may receive an opportunity. It could be because of a friend. And I feel like some of you, you're waiting for that news. You're waiting for communication. Page of Wands. And then how others are viewing you. We have the Hermit. And so, yeah. Some of you could be hanging out alone until you maybe hear from this person. Others, you're maybe staying indoors. Or you're dealing with somebody like that. You, you could be helping someone who, again, is, you know, maybe they're closed off. They could have just went through something. This person also may be uh, older. You know, maybe this is a family member. In the hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you, this new path, maybe a new job. Could be that you're waiting to, to hear news about a job waiting to have maybe more options. You have the Seven of Cups here. But again, with the Two of Swords crowning you and the Seven of Cups, this is you needing more information. It's like holding back from moving forward uh, until you get more information, which is good, I mean, which is good. You don't wanna just, you know, leap into something um, and then be left hanging here. Um, you don't want to make a bad decision. So this is you holding back until you get the information that you need. Let's do some clarifying. Seven of Cups is you having options. Some of you have options maybe on the work front. This could be with, you know, landing a new job. Others, I, I could be reading for some uh, Librans where, you know, maybe, maybe you have like um, an online business or something like that. But let's take a look at the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Others, you have options in love. I definitely feel like some of you have a friend that's interested in you. You may not be seeing it though. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles again. So yeah, this is this is options for work. Some of you are looking at maybe some new possibilities. Let's take a look at the Page of Wands. Queen of Wands, so could be a fire sign that maybe some of you are waiting on hearing from, so a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, others, this is your energy. Very creative, passionate about moving forward down this new path. And some of you, you're maybe turning down offers because they're not what you want. But let's take a look at the Four of Cups. The Tower. 
Yeah, so there could be an aha moment, like a major realization, a shake up. You could be shaking things up. A friend could be shaking things up. But let's take a look at the Two of Swords. Ten of Cups. Hmm. The Hierophant and the High Priestess looking at the Fool. So, I mean, you have some majors here. This could be a new path with a large company that you're keeping quiet. So this new beginning, you may not be talking about it. You could be shaking things up. It could be a friend, maybe helped you get a job or something like that. You could definitely be keeping it to yourself. This is you also having very strong faith, which is good, which is great. Very strong faith as you embark on this new journey. And what you're not seeing for some of you is you have this happily ever after coming in. For those of you that are single, I think you have the possibility of love uh, around you. So you may work with this person. If you're landing a new job, it could be that they work at this new place. Others, this is a friend. You have options in love. There's the fool again. So it, maybe an Aries is significant with this queen of rods. It could be an Aries. Could be an Aries. Let's um, pull you an overall guidance card looking at the rest of September. For Libra is the guidance. You may learn something here in, in the near future, Libra, and it could be from someone that you feel is a little dramatic. Someone may be being a little dramatic. That's not all of you, but take what resonates. Okay, we have 15, Archangel Haniel, joy, blessings, and intuition. So as you embark on this new path, of course, listen to your intuition. But there are some unknowns here. You know, the, he's wearing a blindfold. The Ten of Wands person here is wearing a blindfold. We have the Four of Cups here, which is a challenge. This person's eyes are shut. This person here on the Two of Swords is closed off. They've gone through a lot. Um, they look miserable. And so there's something that you're not seeing. For many of you, I feel like this is in your environment, though. This is somebody around you. Someone may not be happy. This is a friend for many of you. Or it's a sibling. And then I do see you learning something. There could be a secret. There could be something coming to light that you just didn't know. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But it's just something you didn't know. For some of you, a child may be significant. You have the fool twice. It's an innocent, pure energy. Let's see, looking at your love life, what is the guidance for Libra? Looking at their love life. Some of you, those of you that have a new possibility and love, but you're a little closed off or the person you're dealing with is, this person may be, may be there very spiritual for others there could be like a telepathic connection here for some of you you're maybe trying to ignore it or maybe they are look at this reconciliation and make the effort this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek 
reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take you're being guided towards a reconciliation for some of you it will be mid september i feel like that could be around the 21st for many of you. This person is already around you. If something went down with a friend or a sibling, I think the guidance here is definitely to um, mend this relationship. All right, let's pull you an angel answer. So if you have a particular question, what is the guidance for Libra? Don't stop. Keep going. You have this closed off energy, but you're working through it. The fool is a liberating energy. Could be waiting on maybe hearing from a fire sign. Others, this is you taking action. This is you taking action. No need to worry is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what signs you're dealing with. Who is Libra dealing with? If something is foggy, if something is confusing, I do see things clearing up. Virgo, Virgo and Leo. And then of course, strong Aries. We have all elements here, really. All right, Libra. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure that you become a member if you're interested in collective reads more collective reads um if you're interested in having a private reading all of my information is listed down below if you're interested in checking out my new decks these are my two latest decks that i just came out with the dirty little secrets oracle cards and who when and where oracle both of these decks are awesome uh, what card is this? This is the wedding card. So this deck will tell you who's coming in, when, and where you're going to meet them. It's an awesome deck. I love using it. And I did just put up a couple new pictures on Etsy if you're interested in looking at those. Go check me out on Facebook, Instagram. All of my links are listed down below. All right, Libra, have a great rest of September. Take care.